So you might be thinking, as I was just now, why, what, how does this happen? Why would these, mo- why would these atoms and molecules rearrange themselves like this into something new? How does that take place? And it takes place because of a super important fact about all atoms and molecules. They all have kinetic energy. And I'm going to go to a new page. These guys are moving. Kinetic energy is the energy of movement. So I have kinetic energy. I have this awesome yoga ball chair that I'm sitting on and I'm I'm not I can't bounce too much or I will make myself seasick looking at myself in this video. But I have kinetic energy. Okay, I have a ton of kinetic energy because my hands are moving all over the place and my face is moving and my mouth is moving. All of that is kinetic energy. On top of all of my kinetic energy that is happening because of my massive muscles that are contracting and moving me all over the place, on top of all of that kinetic energy in me, every single atom in my giddy up also has kinetic energy. It is moving. I'm going to show you a picture of... Um, oh, come on now. Why is that not? Okay. I'm going to try something. I'm going to pause and see if I can come back when I fixed a tech issue. I hope you did not see all of that. I have no idea if I'm back to recording or if you saw all that. I'm going to take my chances. So this is a really cool image of an atom a, a single particle that is how this is an image of how that single particle is moving. The measure of a particle's movement, the more movie a particle is, the more active, the more movement there is in a particle, the um, higher the temperature of that thing. Okay, I'm going to try to go back to giving you notes because I want to write that down for you. Look, it worked that time. Okay. Um, More movement. Higher kinetic energy is a higher temperature. This is easy to visualize if you think about like a cup of tea. If you drop a piece of um, a drop of food coloring in a boiling hot cup of tea, the food coloring, the dye is going to move around a lot. The, the particles in the boiling or hot water are moving more than the particles. If you did the same thing, you dropped the, wa- the food coloring into cold water. You're n- it's not going to move around as much because those colder particles aren't moving as much. Less movement, less kinetic energy equals lower temperature. And I want to be sure that you're clear that when I say movement is that kinetic energy is temperature, that's molecular. So that like seriously, we are made of atoms. And even though I look at my table and I'm like, yeah, nothing's moving on my table. Those atoms that make up my table absolutely are moving. And a measure of how much they're moving is the temperature of my table. This is a concept that is sort of bizarre and will take us a little bit of time to get cozy with. But I think we'll see, like we'll talk about it a lot and it's relevant for ever all through all of our biology classes. The last thing that I want to talk or show you why this is so weird. It did it. It did it again. Let's see if it comes back. It did. That's cool. I wanted to show you my friend, the tardigrade. This guy also known as a moss piglet um, or a water bear. This guy has 
capacity to stay alive and get so cold that his atoms almost stop moving. The temperature at which atoms stop moving is called absolute zero. And it's negative 273 degrees Celsius. That's like, are you kidding me? It's really cold. We cannot get anything that cold. We've never gotten anything down to this idea of absolute zero. But this guy has gotten really close to absolute zero and has then warmed up and come back to life. I tell you this only because that is freaking cool. And those guys, they're like little wild microscopic critters that do live in moss. I've never seen a live one. I kind of think that my kid got to like hunt for tardigrades in moss when he was taking AP bio. I'm going to have to investigate and find out if that is true because I really would love to find one. Okay, that's our first lecture on chemistry. Make sure you're cozy because I'm coming back at you to talk even more about specific things to life. We're carbohydrates, proteins, DNA, RNA, that stuff's coming at us in the next lecture. Okay, bye-bye.